Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I'm playing Star Maid. And we are back with this uh, little light fighter we're working on. And uh, let's see here, let's fire up some symmetry. Well, let's do up and left right symmetry. Uh, you can do symmetrical planes by using symmetry here in advanced build mode. Get to advanced build mode by first of all being in build mode, and then holding down the left control. Yeah, left control, uh, unless you've changed it. Now you change between build mode and flight mode with, I think, the Z key, but I rebound mine to space because I'm old and don't like change. Anyway, I'm going to be doing uh, XZ and YZ symmetry, so the red and the green symmetry. So when I place a block up here, the red means it places it on this side, and the green means it places it down here as well. Right, and let's set these as the weapon outputs, so that forces this block to be where the uh, the uh, shot comes from. And since I have two groups, we need to force it twice. So today we're going to talk about armor, uh, advanced, standard, and basic armor. And this is one of the big things that that uh, quick fire. The quickfire initiative change. Uh, if you'll notice, looking at this block, I don't get my cool pop-up like I do here. Armor stats from this angle. Uh, because this doesn't have any armor per se. Um, it's just a block. Although it is more effective against absorbing explosions. This, you have block armor, thickness, and total armor. This one, you have block armor 15, block armor 4. Standard armor does not give you much block armor but it gives you tons of hp advanced armor does not give you much hp but gives you tons of armor uh, let's see is it left shift yeah left shift you hold down left shift and see uh the bhp right oh where it pops up new power because i'm using new power on this vessel it's on an old power vessel and i'm pointing at the screen with my hand that's no good it says 127 BHP at the end of that first line, 300 FHP block. Well, if we scoot over one, you'll notice this one's 127 BHP, 150 HP. See, the HP from the block is a lot more. That's 300, that's 150. But armor is more for this. So the idea is you want to stack them. So you want a layer or two of advance to give you more armor and then the soft squishy well not soft, the, the bullet sponge high HP then layer of um, great basic armor for uh, for explosion damage. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So you can sort of think of armor, uh, the block armor, uh, think of each one of these blocks as an RPG character. Um, this one's your tank. He has lots of armor, but not much HP. This guy's a different type of tank. He doesn't have much armor, but he has lots of HP. So uh, that's sort of the difference. And you want both on your team one to tank lots of damage, then the others to soak up the HP and the, the depth of the armor. Now, each of these do add some armor, so let's see if we look here. Block armor, 15 for this block. There's a, thic a thickness of 4 at this point, and total armor of 28. So when a projectile, weapon projectile, hits this, it'll look at the total block armor, decrease it, then start chewing through it. Um, yeah. So, generally, you're gonna want layers of, of, of armor on your vessels. So you're not gonna want what I'm doing here, which is just putting a skin of standard on it. This ain't gonna do particularly well, but I don't care because that's not what type of vessel this is. This is a light, uh, basically, expendable vessel. There we go. So 
so I don't want to spend lots of resources on building lots of armor. There. So we're just going to do a quick and dirty uh, skin. I guess you sometimes this has been called a saran wrap of, uh, of armor. We're going to undo XY symmetry because it is different here. We go and turn it back on. I believe it was that block was the center. All right, so I actually turned that back on. We'll put those back. All right. So now it has a little armor, nothing to write, nothing, nothing to write home about, but it has a little armor. Uh, let's see, let's do like that. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to sort of make it pretty and give it a black crystal armor windshield. Uh, there we go. All right, so now it has a windshield. And it's not very pretty, but we can fix that. It's an odd shape. I, I kind of like that, having an odd shape. Bye. Six, seven, is that seven? It's eight. Wow. No, one day I'll learn how to count. But today is not that day. All right. So just going to put these wedges up here. And we are wedging the bottoms by wedging those. All right. And let's see here. A little bit of wedging here. There we go. Uh, Turn off my symmetry. There we go. Now, how do I want this to actually connect to something? I don't need that block there. Because I would like, I'd really like for this vessel to be able to, you know, like, land and dock and all that jazz. So we're going to bring it out to, say, there. Uh, yeah. And we're going to build a USD. A what? I mean, like one of those thumb drives? You no, no, USD, Universal Standard Docking. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna extend this bit, and actually, you're gonna do a number like, uh, like this. There we go. Yeah, I think that will kind of sort of work. Rip those out. Turn that symmetry back on, and let's grab a corner piece. Let's undo that. All right. Now, this does not have much armor. And I know this. I know it does not have much armor, but I don't care, because this is a light, expendable patrol craft, basically. Not even a patrol craft. It's just what it is. We're probably going to make it a little prettier, but not yet. All right, so the USD, you're going to need a rail docker. You need rails. I like to put a permission module. Where'd my permission module go? Uh, we're going to go with faction permission module. And I like to use yellow hazards and blast doors. And, of course, glass door. Okay. Unturn that. And we're going to make it just flush with the... Um, flush with these rear engines. No, we're going to actually rip that off, so my weapons are going to extend just a little, but we get that nice burn from the engine. Okay. So, faction block in the middle. The rail on right looking to the middle. Then docker on left looking to the middle. That is your standard Universal docking. I forget who actually came up with it. And then we can reattach our symmetry, and I like to do the hazard striping just so you can find it more easily. And let's go inside one. There we go. And this is... This is a spaceship. It docks. It has a shield. It has... Most of... Nope, nope, nope. We're not done yet. It needs a faction module. Faction module. 
And let's give it a gravity block as well. Faction module. We're going to set the faction module right here behind the uh, captain's chair. I'll pop that out and set the gravity module up in the ceiling, which is a little different. Usually I put them on the floor. Uh, let's grab a white light. And I don't know. Like There, there's a light. Not really sure if that makes sense. That makes more sense. There we go. And we will... Mm, yeah, we'll put the gravity module on the floor. Does that go anywhere? That don't go nowhere? By that don't go nowhere, I mean it doesn't go out to the void of space. In my fighters, I also typically like to add a medicine cabinet. You know, just in case. And a... Cargo block, a single one. I don't really, I don't usually give it lots of cargo. This is gonna be like a volume of, yeah, volume of 100. If you're hauling more than 100 units of stuff, you need something more than a little fighter. Okay, so now let's pretty it up just a touch. Uh, let's see, give it the XY there. Let's work this out and give it some flashing lights. I like flashing lights. These decorative blocks here will do just fine. There we go. Let's see, and... Well, some pipe there. Actually, let's rip that out, and let's do pipe running along, along like that. And girder. I love girder. Girders are probably my favorite block. There we go, that darkens it up a bit, and let's do... Ooh, ooh that girder, because it has, has pretty lights. Eh, it doesn't translate over to the side very well, though. All right. Okay. And there we have our basic fighter. Uh, let's turn the light back on. Pop out that seat and add... Uh... Brown standard. Let's do a brown standard wage as well. Oh, come on, game. Brown standard. I like the brown standard wage. There we go. Pop that light back off. And that is probably sufficient for a, a fighter like this. Now we can do different things to make it better. Um, from here on out, it's all going to be aesthetics. Uh, functionality has been dealt with. So let's see here. Uh, those don't like. Those don't like anything. Uh, tell you what, let's grab some dark gray standard and maybe do something like this. Nope, nope. Uh, I. I like the different texture, though. So let's rip that out. Oh, no, no. This is where we'll use our dark gray scanner. Different texture, different color. That works nicely. Uh, we'll pull uh, something like that. Okay. We can still shoot. You can shoot through a block, even, if you so desire. Um... How about we do one of these numbers? Uh, half block here. And scoop it down to a quarter block. That gives it a little different shape. Let's do that on the top and bottom. Uh-oh, I'm moving. Stop moving. Oh, uh, kinetic energy. Uh, uh, cannons provide kinetic energy. So when you hit something, you move. And, or it moves, and firing, the act of firing, causes you to move as well. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. And let's see, let's do something like that there. Ooh, I wanna... Well, I like that. And... Maybe... Yeah. Okay. All 
All right. That's better, I think. Just adding a little texture gives it just a little more life, if you will. Huh. Hey, yeah, let's do something like that. And... Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's change the color of these. There we go, and undo that, pop this, and find the right angle for my angle. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring this down and up at the same time. Oh, nope, not and up at the same time. Okay. They didn't have the right symmetry mode set. Now, interesting to note, or probably good to note, that uh, doesn't matter. What doesn't matter? Uh-oh, did I take out too many blocks? Uh, power... Yes, I think I did. There we go. Doesn't matter, um... Something doesn't matter. Come on, brain, work with me, not against me. Ah, ah, wedges. Wedges don't matter. Uh, a wedge does not reduce armor. A wedge, uh, even a quarter wedge and a full block are worth the same amount of armor. Although, if you set up your wedges like this, it is possible to shoot in between them. So, keep that in mind. Okay. That's a cool little ship. Horrible little unit, but I like it. So uh, we're going to call that... Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go ahead and finish this up by doing this. There we go. That turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> Odd little vessel. It is not your standard um, wingedy type thing. Almost looks like a, like a first-level bad guy in a... Uh, and I shoot them up. Anyway, here we go. We have a fully functional uh, vessel. Now you will notice before we go, my max speed is the same because my thrust per mass is still above 5.0. But it, the more army armor we put on, the more mass we gather, so slower overall vessel. So need to keep that in mind when designing a vessel. So let's uh, save this as a light fighter one. Caps locks is on. All right. Well, let's see if it is a light fighter O2. There we go. And uh, we will do a little more testing with this later, but I think we're going to call that for today. I have been GW608. This has been Star Made, and this is a cute little light fighter. <laughs> All right. I'll take you cats later.